Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And if you've ever wanted to, sh you know, if you hover over this black, you've got red, green, blue, RGB, 000, then 90% it tells you what it is. But if you ever wanted to send all your color, I'm going to get rid of my um, other palette. I was using something. So if, let's say, um, well, really the CMYK would be probably the only one you'd ever do this to because us laser engravers use RGB. But if you wanted to show off these palettes and print them out, there's another macro, if you go to tools, yours might say macros, mine says scripts, go down to scripts, <clears throat> open that up, and then inside the macro is a color chart creator. Macro, create a chart. RGB palette, you can have the RGB palette, your document palette. Um, you can put the date on it you know, today's date, uh, printer, spacing, and just hit OK. And look at that. Not only did it print out a color, RGP palette one, today's date, and it gives you the color's name and they're like the percentage. I've got some of my, some of my order, blacks out of order. But if you, you know, if you, and then you could literally take this and let's change our page to 8.5 times 11. And then make these fit. I tried, I don't think there's any way. But, uh, you know, if you just wanted to do the, well, you could do them all and you could make them smaller, but you could print out multiple pages and you could probably squish them in here and print that out to see if the customer wants that purple, Easter purple, or blue purple, or blue violet, or Easter purple. And you could you could put them all on one page, but they might be too still a little to read. But you could do the same thing. That's RGB colors. Let's just back up here. I'll tell you what, let's just open a new page. Go to create a chart. Let's do the CMYK color. Well, you know what? It might not allow me because I don't have CMYK open. So let's go to tools. Oh, let's go to windows, color palettes, open a palette. Well, we don't want to go there. Go to windows, color palettes, palettes, and do a CMYK palette. And let's go ahead and X that out. Now my RGB might um, take over, but we'll see in just a second. So then go to tools and scripts and scripts. There we go. Now we got a CMY color palette. Takes just a second, but it's put all your all your colors. You know CMYK ninety percent black, eighty percent black black, you know, if you're a printer, you could print this off. You know, if you have a printer this big, you could print it off on one, one page. I have yet to find a way to do it. Let's just open another page and let's make our page 8.5 by 11. And let's do palette creator, CMYK colors. And see, it changes the page. It might have to do with that's my page of my default page, so you might want to look in there. But it, you know, it doesn't matter if they're just trying to pick between blues. You know, you could pick all the blues out and put them in a eleven by you know page, and just you know maybe don't like a lot of times don't give a customer too many options. But you could put all these into a eleven by eight and a half by eleven page or any of them, or break them up and do them all. But that's how you could print them out on paper. And it would just be useful just, to, you know, showing somebody instead of going through all these colors and having to highlight them to find out that it's red, you know, here it is right here. Brown, gold, autumn orange, light orange, 
grass green, Kentucky green. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.